Hi y'all and welcome and I'm so glad that you could be with me today because I'm going to be making these hands um, that go inside there and you put a mirror on it so it's like a little I don't know if you want to call it a crystal ball or you know maybe um, a quick makeup mirror um, anyway so um, Yeah, I'm trying to, to get something out of my mold. So, um, I've got um, a, what is called a two-faced chameleon, uh, which is called Grumpy. And this is Black Cherry from Resin Art. And um, what I'm going to do is I've got my resin mixed up. Um, I swear y'all, I'm going to get better about writing it down. Um, I can't remember how much resin, but, um, anyway, uh, after I get my gloves on, um, I'm going to pour my resin into a smaller cup just because it's easier for me to handle. Um, I think that's maybe four ounces. I'm not sure by the looks of it. Anyway, um, I didn't need very much because I'm going to um, put that chameleon powder uh, into the resin. And um, I didn't want very much of it because that uh, chameleon powder has a tendency to take over. So even though it doesn't look like a lot uh, when you get it inside your mold, um, yeah, it will take over, as you see me doing there, but, um, yeah, it's, I was, um, I was correct in determining the amount of that, um, that powder, but, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour, um, half of the resin into both molds because, um, and then I'm going to come back and do uh, the final layer in the black cherry. Um, so when you take it out of the mold, it's going to look kind of cosmic because that what that grumpy does is um, it it gives it a little bit of extra sparkle without having to use glitter. So you'll you'll see in the end. Um, So yeah, to y'all, it looks clear, but as you saw me just um, mixing that mica, I'm um, not mica, but the powder in there. So I do want to let y'all know that, um, oh, first of all, um, I meant to look, but I don't know when I released my last video. Um, I know it's been quite a few days. Um, and here what I'm doing is the space between that the, the inner round part and the outer round part, um, that space in there is not very wide. So that's why I'm taking my stick and um, putting it in there because I just I didn't want to spill all over the place. But um, anyway, where was I at? Good Lord. Um, I forgot. Um, yeah, right here, um, all I'm doing is I'm pushing the resin up to the side um, just to make sure that there's resin everywhere. Um, yeah, I didn't, I couldn't remember when my last video was, and I meant to look, but yeah, I forgot. Um, anyway, so, um, you know, I was thinking I need to get a video out to y'all, and, um, oh, Lordy, this, yeah, this is the third day, because I poured this, um, Monday or Tuesday, I think it was Monday, because I wanted to get it out 
No, it was Tuesday because I wanted to get it out on Wednesday. Um, anyway, so come Wednesday, it's not cured yet. <laughs> I mean, <sighs> yep, I'm having that trouble again. Um, anyway, so uh, I came back today, which is Thursday, and... Um, I came back today, and they were a little, I mean, they were a little bit, you know, harder, but um, not near to the point where they needed to be, and I thought, you know what, I, I need to get a video out, and um, so you'll see here towards the end, I just did everything while it was, while it was still really bendy. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking here, looking at the resin, that um, I mixed up too much resin, um, and that's because I wanted to uh, get out my trusty car coaster molds. Um, yeah, because I did want to make, I did want to make those. Um, and I do have an Amazon wish list, um, which I'm going to try to link it in the description box. So, um, just to let you see, or let y'all see what I'm wishing for, and, you know, it's, I can't really do that right now. So, um, anyway, I'm going to try and link it in the description box, um, there will be a coupon code for KS Resin and Glitter from Glitter Makes It for 30% off. And that's 30% off your entire order. That's, that's why I have so much glitter, because I love the shaped glitter. Um like in the trinket box that I made, um, and the flamingos, those flamingos came from Glitter Makes It, um, yeah, they make fine glitter, chunky glitter, shaped glitter, um, so go, you know, if you don't want to buy anything, just go check out and see what they have. Great customer service. Um, okay, so I'm going to let those cure. <laughs> Somewhat. <laughs> oh, y'all, hopefully one of these days I can make a, a resin project and I can, you know, film it. And let y'all know that, hey, guess what? The resin got hard. It cured finally. So, um, one of these days, hopefully soon, because I'm going to be changing um, resin brands. And um, I'm going to order it here very shortly, like tomorrow. Because I've I've done everything else. I'm I'm in a smaller location with the dehumidifier on because here in Texas it's it's not the heat that'll get you, it's the humidity. So um you know I've done all that. The temperature is the same, I'm mixing it the same, so I don't know. And um you know, I can use the the liquid art from KS Resin. I've used the casting resin. Um, oh, I did the stone, the liquid stone by mistake. Now, the stone didn't cure. You know, it is not for casting, but I really had to use it because I don't have anything to coat um, in resin, you know, like paintings or, or anything else. 
So I wanted to use that up. And then I finally get my um, liquid cast and um, it's it's doing the same thing as the the stone. So I don't know. I'm trying to make a deduction, you know, go through the list and see, you know, if I can solve the puzzle. So, you know, I've done everything. And, um, yeah, as you can see here, the, the liquid has firmed up. And I'm just pouring that, um, the wild cherry in there. Um, pouring it everywhere, actually. But, um, yeah, I've, I've tried what I know to not you know for for it to cure all the way and um you know i'm i'm out of options except for using another brand name um epoxy resin and that is that is going to be the last thing on my list because other than that i don't know what else to do and it's you know, it's it's frustrating because I want to make, um, you know, instructional videos. But, you know, if somebody watches this for the first time and, um, you know, just is frustrated with me, I don't want that. See, it's, it's cured up a little bit. So, um, yeah, it's by deduction of reasoning that I'm trying to figure out what's going on with this um epoxy resin so um yeah i mean i could have waited and waited and waited like you know three more days but you know i don't know if it would get any any harder you know or or cure anymore and i just i can't wait that long because i want to get videos out to y'all um you know, regularly. And, um, if I have to wait on resin to cure, you know, I'm going to lose people. So, you know, I can't afford to have that happen. You can kind of see the sparkle, um, in that black cherry. Now, this was a big mistake. Um, and I have the hardest time trying to get this film off because I thought, oh, well, you know, you could probably scratch it a little bit and, you know, get it to go in. <laughs> it did, but gee, Manili, it took a long time. And this, this video is sped up uh, times two. <laughs> so think of twice as long for me to get this stuff off. But anyway, um, I want to get videos out to y'all regularly, and I can't afford to miss people because of that, um, you know, having to wait. Um, so here I'm going in. I don't know if y'all noticed or not, but those, ha those hands have little indents, indentations in them, um, and they've got stars and planets and moons. So I thought, oh, okay, well, I'll take a, you know, a marker. I don't know if you want to call it fine tip or not, because where I had to go with that, you know, marker, it needed to be a finer tip than that. So you can see my eyeball. Hi, y'all. I have got to get to the beauty shop. My husband used to call it the purdy parlor. <laughs> he was a good old boy. But, um, yeah, I just, I need to get my hair cut. So, um, I'm trying to go in, and it's kind of hard to s see where... I needed to go with that pen. Um, 
and it just it was it was kind of difficult I guess I don't know because of the lighting maybe I have an overhead light but it doesn't it's not bright So I'm just going in with the marker and I'm I'm trying to work to get that to look right, y'all. And I I couldn't do it. <laughs> this is what not to do. My tutorials are probably a lot of them are what not to do. <laughs> Cause I've had quite a few, you know, just not work. And most of them are because of the resin, so. I'm so sorry y'all are having to look up my nose. I did not notice that until just now. That's why I said before this segment started that, yep, there was a big mistake putting that mirror in there. I should have waited until, um, you know, all the painting was done, but I couldn't help myself. I had to see what it looked like. And I didn't want to try and because there's glue you know it's tacky um glue on the you know on the other side of that mirror and i didn't want to take a risk on taking it out because of the resin still being really soft that is so messed up that is so messed up i had just a little bit of overflow and as you can see those Phone grip pieces, yeah. <laughs> I was, I was so frustrated. I threw it on the other side of the table. <laughs> but yeah, y'all are really familiar with those. Um, and you're going to get more familiar because um, my next video, uh, what I'm going to do is I have several pairs of car coasters with the mandala pattern. And um, uh, I wanted to, I saw Tish on Naptime Creations take a squeegee, paint the top, take the squeegee, and squeegee the excess paint off which is brilliant. Thank you, Tish. For those of you that are new to resin, um, when you get your mold out of, when you get your resin out of the mold and you have overflow, you want to try and, you know, get it right before it's fully cured. Then in that way, um, it's still soft and um, you can cut it off. So until next time, y'all, stay safe and stay well. See you in the next video.